that the people who fought for the security of the freedoms that I enjoy today were absolutely heroes. I had visions of Rosa Parks and Abraham Lincoln, and to me they were intrinsically moral. They were almost higher beings. I thought that was so amazing that people existed like that and they were the ones who made change and they changed the laws. Then last year I heard uh, some, a story that totally challenged that. And that's what I'm going to talk to you about today. The story is the Supreme Court case, Near versus Minnesota. And a couple of you have heard it already, but it's worth hearing again. The, Minnesota, the Supreme Court case, Near versus Minnesota, is over a law called the Minnesota Gag Law. And so today I'm going to give you some background information so we can fully appreciate the story. Then I'm going to introduce the two main characters in this story. Then I'm going to tell you a story. First, we need to do some background information. So the Minnesota Gag Law was ratified in 1925 in Minnesota, not, not all over the country. It came about when a man by the pen name Morrison Ripsaw was publishing a newspaper in which he was including very inappropriate political cartoons. They depicted very disturbing images like, um, like political officials having orgies to try and demonstrate that there was a lot of corruption in, this, in their society and the place where they live. Well, as you can imagine, people were a little scandalized. They called it salacious and they called it inappropriate, especially for women and children to be viewing. <laughs> so they, so the people, the good people of Minnesota came up with the Minnesota Gag Law, which states that any publication not operating in the public interest can be shut down without a jury trial. A couple years later, this is in the late 1920s, uh, we're going to introduce our two characters, Near and Guilford. Jane Near and Howard Guilford uh, co-wrote 